Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, chaos in Israel to the point that a lot of us are starting to think we might be seeing the setup for the Psalm 83 war taking place right in front of us right now. And to summarize it really quickly and badly, all the Arab nations are going to come together against Israel. And obviously they're not going to succeed, but they're going to come together in force. So there's been two sets of Al-Aqsa clashes. There's again people hold up in there and they're ready with fireworks and rocks and things so that they can cause chaos for the Jews. They've had rocket fire from Lebanon and Gaza and now Syria as well. And Turkey is selling the Muslim world to come together against Israel. That's why we're saying it's very much a, all the Muslim countries riling each other up and coming against Israel. And Israel still, even though they're reacting, they're still showing weakness because they're not reacting as powerfully as they should at this time. And that's a huge concern. Hezbollah, Hamas, Iran, Syria, Turkey, all of them involved. And no major, major retaliation from Israel at this stage. Um, and then Muslims call to unite against Israel. So hectic times. And I mean, now in the last 24 hours, they had another ramming attack in Tel Aviv. Uh, Muslim went and ran right over tourists. And now they're handing out sweets again in Gaza to celebrate their killing. The problem is this weren't Jews. This was an Italian lawyer. And the rest of the tourists also weren't Jews. So I hope the world's taking note that they're handing out sweets celebrating the death of non-Jews, tourists as well, and how evil the people are that they're actually dealing with at this stage of the game. But again, no outcry from the rest of the world, nothing from the UN, everybody's shouting at Israel to stop it and watch out. Meanwhile, even the Muslims that live in Israel are saying that Israel is upholding the status quo, Israel is trying to keep... The aggressive ones out that are trying to cause trouble but no one's listening to them because that is not the story they want to sell to the masses you see how it works with the media there's a narrative that they need to sell and if it doesn't fit the narrative they're not going to sell it that's just how it goes so yes pray for the peace of jerusalem pray for israel keep looking up for our time draws near for us to exit um, and then in france the upheaval is getting through the roof now. Streets are blocked. Buildings are being besieged. BlackRock offices attacked. The people are really, really angry at Macron. And that chaos is spreading beyond France. In other countries, there's also chaos. At a time when those countries should be showing strength in the midst of a very real nearby threat from Russia and her allies. But they're not. They're tearing themselves apart from the inside, which again is very much organized and instigated if you look at the new people that have come into the country and immigrated in that have caused this imbalance that the countries you can't even say are those countries anymore especially if you look at their leadership then seismic activities through the roof again colombian volcano is increasing its activity all the time and they're fearing that eruption at any minute earthquakes are going on all over the world non-stop um China's doing massive drills around Taiwan now and moving ships and planes into position for a possible beginning of finally doing something about their threats. North Korea's tested another underwater drone. Uh, lawlessness abounds. I know if you look in your local newspapers, in my local newspapers, it's chaos. People just killing each other. People killing their wives. It's It's chaos lawlessness abounds the love of many shall grow cold these are signs of the end times open worship of the devil glorification of evil this entire trance thing it is now targeting christians and christianity as their enemy and it just becomes darker and darker by the second not by the day by the second that is the speed with which this is happening and i mean if i go back to the time of noah as in the days of noah in the times of Noah, I mean, they saw the signs with Noah. They saw the clouds gathering. They saw the animals entering the ark. These animals didn't enter the ark in 24 hours. You've got to think how many animals there were. Seven of each clean, two of each unclean. And they came from all the species. All of them had a lineup and enter the ark. Have their papers checked and stamped and then onto the ark. All of them. That would not have taken a day. That would have taken a while 
while those animals lived around the ark and waited their turn to slot onto the ramp. And people didn't do anything. People didn't realize. People didn't turn from their wicked ways. People thought they were righteous and right. Noah's family, a large portion of his family, was still alive. They thought they were righteous enough. They were good. They didn't need what Noah was talking about. Noah was the crazy one. The same way today, our families, our friends, people around us, they don't think they need this. They think they're righteous enough. They think they're good enough. They think they're on the right path, but they're not. And us crazy people have built the ark. We've got the ark. We're starting to load up. We're getting ready to go. And people are still not listening. And as in the times of Lot, in the days of Lot, males with males, females with females, chaos, people mutilating themselves to be something else, mental disorders, abominations abound all over the world. And what is evil is good and what is good is evil. And this is everywhere. And it's it's crazy. It's the days of Lot and the days of Noah. And we are there. Everything is screaming. Creation is groaning. Everything. And then the whole time, your world leaders keep saying to you, peace and security, peace and stability, peace and safety. And what does the Bible say? When they say this, sudden destruction shall fall upon them and they shall not escape the world is primed with nuclear threats war threats issues nation against nation tribe against tribe peoples against peoples race against race it is primed for destruction to fall on everybody very very shortly and very very soon so everything is in place now more than ever pray for your loved ones pray for your friends Get your houses in order, as in what you're leaving for the left behind. Because if you look at the barley harvest, we're, we're likened very many times to the barley harvest, which takes place now in the sand. So the barley harvest, they say with the bushels, two thirds of the bushel are saved in the whole process. When they're gleaning and winnowing and so on, they take them, they put them on a sheet. They toss them up into the air and the wind blows away the chaff. Does that not sound to you like the rapture? When we are taken up and the chaff is removed. And then, besides that rapture moment, two-thirds taken, psh, the rest is remained in the field. And that is the gleanings for the poor. Those who have remained behind, those who weren't wake up, those who weren't listening but knew, those Christians who were lukewarm, as in, I will vomit you out of my mouth, that didn't go. Those will become on-fire believers and they will feed the poor. The same way that in the times of Israel, those gleanings were to be left for the poor. They will help and teach and guide and bring more into the kingdom. So there's so many things like in that. And if you even look at the two thirds of the barley saved, if you take that two thirds and then God says that when he's done with Israel with a seven year tribulation period, one third will be saved. One third will come through the fire on the other side of the tribulation. Two-thirds plus one-third make a whole. Three-thirds. Is it coincidence? I think it's a brilliant, beautiful picture of everything coming together, grafted together into one glorious thing that God has ordained and made that we don't fully understand at all. Then, uh, just on all these things happening in the world, and, and I mean, I'm still looking at all these antichrist little candidates it, if you look at um, king darius king darius when he took control of the whole babylonian empire so basically became ruler of the world it says he was 62 years old right this is the guy who decided to make daniel a cat person and get him acquainted with the feline side of the family so he's also a cat person just like me so king darius 62 years old when he became leader of the world so a type of Antichrist for sure, maybe the Antichrist for now will be 62 years old when he enters into his time of power this year, later. Um, it's interesting because I did have a look this morning when, when I thought about these things and, and saw this. The, most of them are not in that age group. There is one person, and again, I'm not saying he's the Antichrist, I just find it interesting. There is one person who's turning 62 years old this year. Who is very popular on the side of evil, darkness, and what's not right. And that's Barack Obama. 
So Barack Obama, lightning from heaven. Interesting. Just interesting. Again, I'm not saying he is the Antichrist. I'm not looking for the Antichrist. I'm looking for Messiah. And I'm looking to exit really fast. My subscriptions are cancelled to this whole freaking earth. I'm out of here soon. But it is interesting. 62 years old this year. Lightning from heaven on the side of evil and darkness. Very popular and beloved by all. Very interesting. A lot of other things. But yeah. So don't lose hope. Hang on there. Keep looking up. We are waiting for our blessed hope. There are still a few souls needing to be saved. God is working hard and so are we as hard as we can. Reaching out, speaking out, ministering, doing everything we can. You do the same. And if you can't for whatever reasons or if you can't leave the home for whatever reasons, pray for those in ministry and pray for those reaching out that that power of prayer can move mountains as well in the time we have left until we meet up with new glorified powerful bodies just like our lords which is going to be incredible so with that have an amazing day further god bless and shalom